Hello, and what the heck is up, my Atlantean? Okay, guys, so as y'all know, or if you don't know, right now I'm in like this really big Bratz phase, and I don't know what's going on. I think it's the release of the Bratz babies because it's like when I was a kid, the Bratz babies were targeted towards my age demographic, so I was super excited. Well, I mean, more Bratz kids, but still, I'm really excited about Bratz right now. <laughs> I ordered a couple dolls, okay? And guess what we're doing today? We're opening more dolls. Of course, of course. What else do we do on this channel? All we do is shop. I'm actually so excited about these two. Or you guys know that, well, at least at the time of this recording, there has been a lot of Bratz information coming out, and it's very, very exciting. And it's hyping up a lot of people in the doll community, and especially the people that collect Bratz. Um, as I've spoken about in my recent video, go check that out, where I unbox Felicia. I haven't been a Bratz collector for maybe literally years, unfortunately. I just, like, haven't been, I don't, I didn't feel very connected, and dolls aren't coming in Canada, like, they haven't been in stores, so it's been really hard to, like, get into them, you know? But I decided to just bite the bullet and I ordered a couple dolls that I was really excited to get so the first one is girls night out Jade I got girls night out Jade I got girls night out Jade Jade is my favorite character she's looking so cool cool cat I'm really excited about her I'm really excited about her accessories that's another reason why I got her I love like the little thing of like mass accessories I'm really hoping to get sweetheart Megan soon because I really want those like hair clips and stuff too but yes, this is doll number one, and then I also have Nevra from series two of the Bratz dolls. Also equally as exciting. I think this might be, I actually don't know what Nevra looks like, but I love the one I got. Um, I actually, truly, honestly got her because I wanted Roxy's girlfriend, but the thing is I don't have Roxy yet. These are the girlies that we're going to be opening today. I'm really excited about them. Okay, I think we should start off with Nevra. This one is a little bit more basic. Not basic at all, but I just think that like, oh, also this outfit is so good. Like that's another reason why I really wanted this one was for the outfit. This outfit is so cute to me. Like the little butterfly top. I am, and the, the jeans with the butterflies on it. Also, also the little fur coat thing. I already have multiple of this hat, so that's whatever. I'm just like really excited about this outfit. And I've never had a never before, so this is really exciting. Okay, so this is what the box looks like. It's the average Bratz box. We are trapezoid shaped this time. Her box is primarily purple and holographic. We have never at the top here with her little sign icon thing there that I don't Oh god, I don't know, I don't know what her icon name is. Here we have everyone that's in the lineup. We have Megan, Kiana, um, Kumi, and Never There, who is beautiful. And then on the back we have a full illustration of Nevra wearing her... Oh, she's wearing her first outfit just with the jacket. Hi, my name is Nevra. My friends call me Queen Bee because I'm sweet like honey and in charge. Queen Bee, I guess. I come with hairbrush, two pairs of snap-on shoes, hair accessory, fashion belt, two fashion tops, two fashion bottoms, fashion jacket. I wonder if these count as like collector because Always Bratz isn't coming with a second outfit and I, I think they're a couple dollars cheaper than these. I don't know guys, I don't know. She comes with a free poster, that's another really exciting for, thing for me. So that is Never's box. I'm gonna show y'all Shades box as well, so I could just go ahead and open them up really quick. But here is hers. Hers is in an upside down trapezoid. Do I have Girls Night Out Jade as a mini Bratz? I'll let y'all know. It says Girls Night Out Collection, and the reason why they're going out to the club is because it is their 21st birthday. Yeah, so it took it took a while for this to come into my greasy little fingers. 
we get two hot outfits when we all know there should have been three. I wish we got that third outfit, but this is still so exciting. First time ever, now with real eyelashes and body glitter. Okay, that is something that I'm actually kind of worried about. Um, I've heard stories that the glitter falls off the body, so we'll find out after we open her. Semi-formal fever. Funkalicious formal wear. Girls Night Out, the girls with a passion for fashion, and I love how the illustrations in this era, or I guess in like, yeah, in this era, they were, they're were they all wearing the second outfit, so you can get an idea of what they all look like, so that is so cute. The back, it says, it's a night you'll never forget. Jade, it's time to leave the guys at home, because tonight it's a girls' night out. Join all the brats as they move it and groove it at the cafes, the clubs, and the coffee shops and paint the town red hot red as the only, as only these girls can do. Coffee shops? <laughs> Includes one doll, one dress, one jacket, one top, one pants, one purse, 16 accessories, two pairs of shoes, and one hairbrush. And then we have the prototype version <laughs> of all the girls in the Girls' Night Out collection, and it says collect them all, and I won't, because I have self-control. <laughs> I love how we have the little illustration in the back there. This is so cute. And then this is the little handle. It's glittery as well. It's really cute. Oh right, I got these both off of Amazon. So in case y'all are wondering if they weren't in store, where'd you get them then? I got them off of Amazon. Oh, I wasn't very keen on the idea of getting like a, a doll without seeing what their faces were gonna look like, but thank god they're so cute. This jade is such a whore. <laughs> she is really truly giving cunt, cuntress, and this one is giving... Oh, oh, it's so good, so good. Okay, I'm gonna open them, okay? I'll be right back. I haven't done that in so long. Okay, so I just got them out of the box, and they're gorgeous. Like, I'm obsessed with them. They are so cute. And, like, I forget that, like, <clears throat> and I forget that, like, the brats that come out as reproductions, like, I forget that they come from, like, the early 2000s. So when I'm, like, looking at these outfits, I'm like, and these outfits are, like, kind of bad. And I realize it's because of how, like, how... Y2K they are, like they're just really giving like authentic year 2000, you know? First one I got out was Girls Night Out Jade, so this is what she looks like. Obviously she is already beautiful. She's my favorite as well, so there will be a lot of bias when I talk about her. I'm obsessed with this face. I thought the faces looked a little weird, but I realized it's because like they used a different screening. But it's mostly like the... The lips are kind of small for me, and the eyes are like, I don't know what it is. <sighs> I don't know what it is. Like, the face is, the face is like kind of weird. Not weird. The face is like not what I was expecting, but honestly, like still. Is she not so cunty? Like, and the real eyelashes that are so long. This is my first brat doll with lashes. She's so pretty. So she has like this turquoise makeup. I love how much blue she's wearing. Y'all know I'm a blue girl. So like Jade and Blue. Yeah. She has the tiny stud earrings, which are super fun, super cute. She has this little necklace that's also really fun. Um, I can't say this t style of necklace is my favorite, but whatever. Here's her little dress. Um, my boyfriend has commented on the way that it's literally like sheer tool. Like you could like clearly see my finger underneath there. And while that's true, is it not? Is it not cute? I love how we have these like little bows on the shoulders like but they're like made of rope not ribbon. Like I think that's like so jadish. And like the like belt unfortunately doesn't go all the way around. I don't know if that's meant to do that but like I think that's really interesting I okay honestly like the f the funkalicious formal wear <laughs> may not be my favorite but like regardless like it's very jade and it's like my favorite colors so like not even bad here's her brat pack bag 
we don't get these anymore, but it's Velcro, and you can, like, actually put stuff in there, and you must be wondering, like, what stuff all these accessories could probably fit in there, I bet you. So, the we have some, like, other earrings, some, like, dangly earrings, some hair clips, some bracelets, we have some palettes, and, like, these actual, like, goodie clips. That's crazy. And then we have these, like, little glasses. Guys, like, they don't do it like this anymore. Like, the little things of makeup, like, of course, of course, Jade will be using all of them. Let me put the glasses on. I feel like the glasses look would look really good. Yeah, that's good. And, like, obviously you could see the body glitter, um, it's very chunky. I did not know it was gonna be chunky like that. Does she have the bend and snap leg legs? We have the bend and snap legs. She doesn't have any articulation in the arms, because, you know, they didn't do that until recently. And these turquoise pumps. So, yeah. Oh, so much glitter, but, I mean, I guess you're going to the club, so, like, whatever. You're going to a coffee shop to party? Okay, girl. <laughs> she does come with a usual Bratz hairbrush. This is kind of, like, the best one. You can hold it like this, like... What was, what was that? <laughs> you can, like, comb it, you know? Oh, yeah, she does have gel in her hair. So if you're not into that, watch out for that. Like, it's quite thick with the gel on the sides and the bottoms, so... That's an issue. Oh, her hair is crimped, too. Her hair is in these two ponytails, and there's these little braids. I want to know... What... What that style is. I don't know if I want to take it down, but I kind of want this to be. Mm, I think Pretty in Punk Jade might be like the absolute, like 100% Jade. Why does she look so wonky on the camera? Pretty in Punk Jade is like my favorite, favorite Jade. And this one is competing it. Usually I have my um, Wave 1 Jade to bring around and dress up. Like this is the outfit that I came up with for today. But this one is just like so pretty, you know? Like it's not like as punky and alternative as Jade would be, but... The glasses. <laughs> okay, and then she does come in the second outfit, but we'll get into that. First, I'm going to show you Nevra. This is what she looks like out of the box. Isn't she so pretty? Like something about like her skin tone, the lips, her makeup, the hair color, all of it is just like so good. No wonder Roxy fell in love with her. She has this hat and it is connected to her head, but I will remove that when we put on the second outfit. She has the butterfly top, the one that everyone uses and reuses for every single freaking restyle. But I get it. It's really cute. And then we have this pink belt that does go all the way around. Right, right. And here are her jeans, as you can see. They are just like basic jean material, but I'm not I'm not gonna say basic, because like we don't get jean material anymore. <laughs> and we have these gl this like glittery butterfly filigree. And her shoes are these boots. They're like rouged at the front. That is so cool to me. Oh right, and here's her hairbrush. It's the OG brush. There's a little bit of product in her hair, but it's not too bad. Oh, I hate, guys, I'm so sad to talk about, to like say it, but I think Kiwi nylon hair might be my least favorite. Um, hair fiber, because it's like, we all hate polypropylene, but at least you can, like, style it. This doesn't do anything, and it's just, like, so stringy. I don't know, I don't know. The kiwi hair type of jazz isn't really my jazz, unfortunately, especially for brats. I feel like brats deserves saran. So those are the girls in their original outfits. I'm going to go ahead and put them into their second outfits. Right, and their unboxing was really easy. Guys, I don't know what it is, but the it's always the second outfits that are, like, so good. Okay, starting off, here we have Nebra. Like, on camera, she looks so... She looks actually look... She actually looks so 
much cooler on camera, but like even in person, like she's so cool. So let's get into this. So I took her hat off, thank God. I just ripped those things out. Doesn't have any ear, ear holes, so if that's gonna be an issue. Oh, I have to zoom in. Uh, she doesn't have any ear holes, so if that's an issue for you, I totally understand. Um, I think she should have had ear holes. I might pierce her ears. This is her makeup. Her second outfit, she's wearing this really cute black tank top with like a blue paisley flowers on it. And then she has this gorgeous like white coat. It's made out of the same material as um, Rainbow High Winter Break Violet's like top and skirt set, like her second outfit. Um, so if you don't like that type of material, I wouldn't, I don't know, would you want to play play around with that? Um, I don't, I don't actually like that material, but I really like the look of it on her. Like, this is so cute. Also, I love the fur, like the faux fur. And then we have this really cute, really nice material or nice quality skirt. Um, it's like this, I don't want to say burlap, but it looks like burlap. And, oh, also, when I was, um, undressing her... Her belt is separate. Did y'all know her belt was separate? Because I did not. And then it's like pleated and we have this like faux pleather. And then like the little silver buckle and the turquoise shoes. Turquoise is so her color, I think. <laughs> yes. Okay, so that was Nevra. And then you guys aren't even ready for this. Like, so. Oh, sorry, guys. <laughs> Sexy teacher Jade, excuse me, like, oh, this is good, this is actually so, like, cut, like, this is cut, other than the glasses, she is wearing her, like, this white tank top with, like, ribbons for each side, and there's a butterfly made in, not rhinestones, but, like, drops of glitter, so that's really cool, and then she has this separate denim vest, and it has like this fur collar. It's so cute and like silver to uh, pretend it's zippers. And then she has these really cute pants. It's so early 2000s. Like this is crazy early 2000s. It's the satin pants. It's rouged up the side with a little ribbon. And then there's like, it's cargo. They're cargo capris. And then of course the black strappies. Like is that, that is just it's just so good it's just so good and like she has all of these other accessories that you could use on her and you guys like are like they look like girlfriends they could have been girlfriends maybe ex-girlfriends and everyone's like i don't know if i can do this anymore i'm in love with roxy and then jade goes you know what i get it roxy's hot yeah <laughs> I also forgot to show y'all, Nevra did come with a poster. Unfortunately, Jay didn't. I thought they would come with posters, but... That's so cute. I'm really excited to put my Bratz posters up. Um, when I am able to move out to a place where I get my own, like, office space where I can, like, do my work and also, like, have some of my dolls up, I would love to frame all of my Bratz posters and put them up. Like, that would be so much fun. So, obviously, I love them, and I think that they're so pretty. Bratz dolls are so much fun, and I'm so sad that it took me so long to, like, get r back into them. I mean, I know that, like, um, my interests come with the hype, so, like, now that, like, all the Bratz stuff is happening, like, of course, I'm gonna get into Bratz again. I'm just so happy about them. I did get them full price. Or no, I got them both on sale. They were like two or three dollars off, but like still, I think they are so worth it. They are so high quality and so nice. I know the Kiwi nylon hair fiber is a, a downer for me, but I know in general, it's a very nice quality hair fiber in general. So very nice, very high quality, and they are very beautiful dolls. Let me know what y'all think about them. Obviously, there's no comparison, but, like, if you have a favorite, tell me who your favorite is. Who's your favorite Bratz doll ever? I'd love to know. Other than that, that is 
everything for this video. I hope you guys liked it. Please like, comment, and subscribe if you want. Hit me up in the links in my description, and I'll see y'all on the flip side. Bye-bye.